Soichiro Honda, The Road to Innovation Once upon a time in a small village in Japan, there lived a boy named Soichiro Honda. He was born on November 17, 1906, into a poor family. Soichiro had big dreams even as a child, and he was always curious about how things worked. Little did anyone know that this curious young boy would grow up to revolutionize the world of automobiles and motorcycles. Soichiro's family didn't have much money, but they had a strong work ethic. His father, Gihei Honda, worked as a blacksmith, and his mother, Mika, worked on the family farm. Young Soichiro would often help his father in the blacksmith shop, and it was here that he developed a deep fascination with machines. As he grew older, Soichiro's passion for machines only grew stronger. He loved tinkering with anything he could get his hands on, from bicycles to old engines. His neighbors often found him taking apart and reassembling machines just to understand how they worked. Soichiro's parents, although poor, encouraged his curiosity and passion. But life was not always easy for Soichiro. He faced many challenges, including limited access to education. In those days, education was a luxury, and the Honda family couldn't afford to send Soichiro to school beyond the elementary level. However, Soichiro was determined to learn and grow, so he spent long hours reading books on engineering and mechanics at his local library. One day, as a teenager, Soichiro saw an automobile for the first time. It was a rare sight in his village, and he was mesmerized by it. He knew then that he wanted to build his own automobile someday. This dream fueled his determination even further. As he reached adulthood, Soichiro moved to Tokyo, the capital city of Japan, in search of opportunities. He worked various odd jobs to make ends meet while continuing to study engineering at night school. During the day, he worked as a car mechanic and learned the ins and outs of automobiles. It wasn't long before Soichiro's talent caught the eye of a local car manufacturer. He was hired as an apprentice in a car factory, and this was a big step forward for him. Soichiro worked tirelessly, always looking for ways to improve the cars he was working on. He was determined to create something better, something innovative. After years of hard work and saving money, Soichiro finally realized his dream. In 1948, he founded the Honda Motor Company, Limited, and started building motorcycles. His motorcycles were different from others in the market. They were reliable, efficient, and affordable. Soichiro's innovative spirit had paid off, and people loved his motorcycles. But the journey was far from over. Honda faced many challenges and setbacks along the way. There were financial struggles, technical problems, 
and even a devastating factory fire that destroyed all of his work. However, Soichiro never gave up. He once said, success is 99% failure. He believed that every setback brought him closer to success. Soichiro's determination and innovative thinking eventually led Honda to become a global automobile and motorcycle giant. His company produced cars and motorcycles known for their quality and performance. Soichiro's dream had become a reality, and he had achieved the unimaginable. So, in the end, the poor boy from a small village in Japan had become a legend in the world of automobiles and motorcycles. Soichiro Honda's story teaches us that with passion, hard work, and the courage to dream, anything is possible. His legacy lives on inspiring generations of young minds to follow their dreams and innovate, just like he did. As Honda Motor Company, Limited continued to grow, Soichiro Honda's commitment to innovation remained at the heart of the company. He believed in constantly pushing the boundaries of what was possible, not just in terms of engineering, but also in terms of business practices. One of Honda's most notable innovations was the introduction of the Super Cub motorcycle in the 1950s. It was a simple, reliable, and affordable motorcycle that became immensely popular not only in Japan, but also around the world. The Super Cub's success solidified Honda's reputation for producing high-quality motorcycles that were accessible to people from all walks of life. But Soichiro Honda wasn't satisfied with just motorcycles. He had a grander vision to build automobiles that were both efficient and environmentally friendly. In the 1960s, Honda introduced the N600, its first compact car. It was a hit, and it marked the beginning of Honda's journey into the world of automobiles. Honda's relentless pursuit of innovation led to several groundbreaking technologies. In the 1970s, they introduced the CVCC, Compound Vortex Controlled Combustion Engine, which was not only fuel efficient but also emitted fewer pollutants, addressing environmental concerns. This commitment to eco-friendly technologies became a hallmark of Honda's identity. Soichiro Honda's leadership style was unique. He believed in fostering a culture of creativity and experimentation within his company. He encouraged his employees to take risks and pursue their own ideas. He famously said, If you hire only those people you understand, the company will never get people better than you are. Always remember that you often find outstanding people among those you don't particularly like. Under Soichiro's guidance, Honda expanded its operations globally. They built manufacturing plants in different countries and established a strong presence in markets worldwide. Honda's reputation for reliability and innovation continued to grow, making it a respected name in the automotive and motorcycle industries. 
Soichiro Honda's personal life also had its challenges. He was known for his intense dedication to his work, which sometimes led to long hours at the office. However, he never lost sight of the importance of family. He had a loving wife, Sachi Honda, and two sons, Hiratoshi and Takeo. Soichiro often found ways to balance his professional and personal life, teaching his sons the values of hard work and perseverance. In 1973, Soichiro Honda stepped down as the president of the company he had founded. He wanted to give the younger generation a chance to lead and continue innovating. However, he remained actively involved in the company as an advisor and continued to contribute his ideas and wisdom. Tragically, on August 5th, 1991, Soichiro Honda passed away at the age of 84. His legacy, however, lives on. The company he founded continues to thrive, producing innovative automobiles, motorcycles, and even robotics. Honda's commitment to sustainability and environmental responsibility reflects Soichiro's vision for a better world. Soichiro Honda's life is a testament to the power of perseverance, innovation, and a relentless pursuit of one's dreams. He showed the world that with determination and a commitment to excellence, anyone can achieve greatness, regardless of their humble beginnings. Today, Soichiro Honda's name is synonymous with innovation, and his story continues to inspire generations of aspiring engineers, entrepreneurs, and dreamers around the world.